The Lord is good and His mercy is endeared forever. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the Season 1, Episode 7 of GTS World, your darling program on the dial 101.1 MHz, Parrot FM. Kudos to my duty continuity announcer. <laughs> I love you, dear. God bless you. Ah, well done. Yeah, with me, I have Tunde Ojo and I'm a party of life. <laughs> we wrote together every time on Gitayo's Word. Once again, the program is Gitayo's Word, sponsored by Gitayo Music Production, North Carolina, USA. I am Dili Ogontola, your anchor man. Good morning. Blessed be the Lord, my rock and my strength, who teaches my hands to work. Ah, we have a limited time on the program. We go straight away to the first segment of the program. This is my story. Yeah, this is my story. My name is William Walford. Not much is known about my life. There is even confusion about my identity. I was blind. And most people treat blind people as if they do not exist. To earn a living, I carved bone to make small useful items. I also preached as a lay preacher. I was sitting in the corner of a room, carving bone as I chose a scripture test for my memory and planned the points for my sermon. When I preached, I would state the Bible references and quote from memory my test from the Psalms or the prophecies or the New Testament. People who had me preach said that I knew the whole Bible by heart. That was an exaggeration. But I was constantly memorizing additional scripture passages. I also wrote poems in my head. And if someone spoke to me kindly, I would quote my poem and tell them that if they felt it worthy, they should write it down. The Reverend Thomas Salmon served as pastor of the Congregational Church in Coles Hill from 1838 until 1842. And he often came to visit with me. About 1842, I quoted several poems I had written, which he copied. He went to the United States later that year and took his copy of my poems with him. He sent my poems, Sweet Heart of Prayer, to the New York Observer newspaper with a brief account of what he knew about me. And a poem was first published in that newspaper in 1845. William Bradbury, who was always searching for him text, read the poem in the newspaper, composed a tune for it and included the hymn in his hymn book, published in 1861. The hymn is now included in almost all American hymn books. But it is not well known in the United Kingdom. My hymn, Sweet Heart of Prayer, captures many hearts. I love the Yoruba translation of my hymn. I will sing a part of the first stanza and recite the last stanza for you in Yoruba. Mi lo kuro la ye lo wa ju hi te ba ba mi kin so bo bo e du mi fu ni ba ba nu je a ta ro a dua la bo fu o kami. Hey, me, me, see, boy, Lord, what is you, but he, my bad, but what he do? Hey, me, see, boy, Lord, what is you, but he, my bad, but what he do? But what he do? Take him married to no regba. Titi won't fit do keep his gar. Tin won't relay me locate. Won't boy guara me silly. That is Jugwa in the pepper. Won't call him be motin fuller. Won't take bushy. I do a deton. Once again, my name is William Walford. I died in 1850 to meet my savior. This is my story. Hmm, I do a do, I do a do. William Walford, despite blind, he made impacts. He surrendered himself to be a vessel unto honor. Hmm. 
en to da wa to da wa so di aye o ni eti ati ma je mo fe ni ko kan nje amu eti wa saye wa se nje bi ti tan ba de sa o le korin ba ti nfo lo pe o digbo se adua didun this is my story Oh, welcome back. And now to the realm of music. Jidayo's music. The music for today is bigger. Bigger than what people say. Oh my God.
Yes, our God is bigger than what people say. Download Oluwak this song on iTunes and other digital platforms. In fact, last weekend the single was uploaded on YouTube. Mm. Um, let's do it like this. Mm, let's do it like this. Um, a giveaway of credit cards to the first five people to answer these two questions correctly. <laughs> the first question, what is the title of the album that was uploaded recently? <laughs> on Oluwak on this YouTube. You go and check it now. <laughs> All right. And number two, what's the duration of the song? That's the question two. The first question, what's the title of the album? that was uploaded recently on Oluwakande's YouTube. And the second question is, what's the duration of the song? Mm. So, a giveaway of credit cards to the first five people to answer the question correctly. So, send your answers to 0806 6430 0806 And you can only find the answers to those questions on Oluwakande's YouTube channel. So, quickly, go and subscribe now and click the notification button. <laughs> now to the word for the week from the CEO, GTI Music Production, North Carolina, USA. Good day, my brother and sister. My name is Olua Kande. Welcome to episode 7. We're talking today about brotherly love. Brotherly love. Natural love is a pure love. It's an unconditional hand of, of friendship. It involves uh, temperity. In the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 18b, it says, But you shall love your brother as yourself. I am the Lord. Sometimes when you notice the commitment of people around you uh, as drop, or they don't behave the way they used to, do not accuse, do not judge, or condemn them. Find out how they have, they have first, see how they are doing, check on them, shows that you love them sometimes some might be undergoing dangerous situation they might need help or about to drop out of a christian race a word of encouragement from you a smile your show of love can give them strength to continue in the race ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 9 he says two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor in the book of Psalm 133 verse 1 How good and how pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together in unity hmm. In the book of John chapter 21 verse 15 When they had finished eating Jesus said to Simon Simon, son of John Do you love me more than this? Yes, Lord, he said You know that I love you Jesus said, feed my lambs, feed my lambs, take care of my brethren, take care of others, give to the poor, help the needy, Matthew 25, verse 45, he will reply, truly I tell you, wherever you did not do for one of this list, of this, you did not do for me. Finally, in the Hebrew chapter 13, verse 1, says, Keep on loving each other as brothers. In verse 5, B says, Be content with what you have. You don't know the effect that a little encouragement could have on your brethren. Show kindness to one another always. Look for at least one person today around you encouraged them if you can give them a gift show some love go ahead and do so and let the brotherly love continue shalom oh thank you thank you thank you my dear listeners hope you enjoy the program i remain your anchor man daily oh gonzola thanks to our sponsor Gita your music production north carolina USA and thanks to my party of life. <laughs> Sunday Ojo is with me in the studio here. So see you next week for a fresh episode of the program. Gita's world. Stay blessed. You are bigger than what people say.